Hey, we have another integral here from MIT Integration B 2014. This is problem number nine. We got the integral of hyperbolic inverse sine of x dx. Okay, and almost every time I come across a, uh, an inverse function, I want to do integration by parts because we don't, without integration by parts, it's hard. We don't really have a good way to integrate this, but with integration by parts, it allows us to differentiate it. So what I'll do is integration by parts. We're gonna use the DI method, tabular integration. So we only have one function here, so we'll kind of create a function. We'll create a one to integrate, and we'll differentiate our cinch inverse. And then we'll need a plus minus plus. Okay, so first let's just integrate one, and we're just gonna get an x. Now the derivative of cinch inverse is gonna be just one over square root of x squared plus one. So on the diagonal, we have part of our answer. So we can actually just write that down now. We're gonna have x cinch inverse x, but then we're gonna have, this row here is gonna be another integral. So what we need to do is find this. This integral is gonna be minus x over the square root of x squared plus one dx. This is actually not too bad. We can do a u substitution. If we just notice, if we make this our u, what's inside of the radical x squared plus one, then well, let's see what happens. So if we make our u x squared plus one, then du is gonna be two x dx, pretty close to what we have here. Let's just add, or actually, sorry, multiply a two here, but then we need to divide by two or multiply by a half. I just turn a minus sign into a slash thing. Now doing that, we can make our substitution. So we're gonna have minus one half, Numerator is going to be du over square root of just u. It's kind of a weird looking u. And I'm just going to rewrite this. We're going to have minus one half. I'm going to write it as a power so we can use the power rule easily. U to the minus one half du. Then we can integrate. Integral this with the power rule is going to be just u to the one half, but take the reciprocal of a half and we're going to have to multiply by a two. So this thing is going to be minus square root of u, but u is x squared plus one. So I just need to put this whole thing together and we'll have our solution. So we have our first part. So for our final answer, we're gonna have x cinch inverse x, and then we're just gonna have a minus square root of x squared plus one plus c, and that's it, we're done. That was MIT 2014, problem nine. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.